Okay. Good. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here, as always. Um, I know I say it every week, but I like to stay in the habit of doing so. So just a reminder uh, to um, honor your body and its needs today. Um, don't push yourself to the point of pain at any time. So some of the stretches and exercises might be challenging, but they should never hurt. Um, so just make the modifications that you need to for yourself. And um, I'll give you some options for certain ones, but otherwise just um, modify as you need to. Um, what else? Maintain a long, deep breath throughout class as much as possible. Um, again, here and there, I will remind you to, to breathe. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you're maintaining your breath throughout class and not holding it especially um, for the more difficult um, movements or, or postures. Sometimes there's a tendency to hold the breath. So just make sure that you are um, allowing it to flow. Okay, uh, so we will begin seated with our feet about hip width distance apart. Allow your knees to be um, stacked directly over your ankles. And you want your back to be slightly away from the back of the chair. Your spine is nice and straight, chin tucked in towards the chest. And roll the shoulders back and bring your palms facing up in your lap. And before you close your eyes, take a few long deep breaths. Allow your eyes to sort of scan the room that you're in. And then on the next exhale, allow your eyes to gently close. Allow your awareness to be outside of you, observing the sounds in your immediate environment. Feeling the temperature of the room. And then allow your awareness to come inward. Taking a few deep breaths as you observe the state of your mind today. Observing your thoughts without judgment. And then spread your toes 
feeling the sensation of your feet on the ground beneath you. Feeling stable, grounded. And take a deep breath into your feet, your ankles, your lower legs. Breathe into your knees and up into your thighs and the backs of your legs. Breathe into your glutes and your pelvis, up through your entire torso and up the spine into the chest cavity. Breathe into your shoulders, your upper back. Your upper arms, elbows, forearms. Breathe into your wrists and your hands. And then finally, take a deep breath up through the throat, into your face and head and out the crown of your head. Take a few more deep breaths into your entire body. taking note of any places that feel a little extra tight today. Good. And now bring your hands to heart center with your eyes still closed and begin to rub the palms together at your heart center. And now bring the palms to stillness. Push your thumbs in right at your breastbone and bow the head slightly more towards the heart. Take another breath or so here. If there is some intention that you would like to set for yourself for this class or the rest of your day or your week, take a moment to do that. And if it's on your heart to dedicate this practice to someone in your life. Take a moment as well to just see that person in your mind's eye. Inhale deeply. And then exhale, release the breath, release your hands, allow the eyes to gently open and readjust to the light and the stimulation in the room that you're in. 
good. All right, and uh, before we do a full body warm up, I'm just gonna ask you to scooch forward slightly in your chair. We'll stretch our neck out a little bit. So inhale deeply and exhale, allow the shoulders to relax and then bring your chin to your chest. And then from here, move your head from side to side. Breathing into the back of your neck. Bring your head back to stillness at center and then inhale your head back up to neutral. Inhale again. And on the next exhale, tilt your right ear down towards the right shoulder, stretching out the left side of your neck. And if it feels good to deepen that stretch by extending your left arm or gently placing your right hand on the side of your head, I invite you to do that. Move your head slightly, front to back. Good, and now inhale the head back up to center. Relax those shoulders. Inhale again. And then exhale, tilt the left ear down towards the left shoulder. And deepen the stretch as it feels good to you. And now inhale your head back up to center. Again, relaxing those shoulders, take a breath. And take both hands to the back of the neck and give it a gentle massage. Good, release your hands. And now roll your shoulders in a backwards motion about 10 times. And then roll them to the front allowing your <clears throat> forearms and hands to move with them in a way that feels good. Good, and now just shake out your arms a little bit. Great. So let's stand up now in front of the chair, or you're welcome to remain seated if that is more comfortable for you. But for those who are standing, uh, our feet are about hip width distance apart. Keep a slight bend in your knees, and we'll just do um, five sun salutations. So the way that that looks is that you're inhaling, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling, bending back slightly if it feels okay to you today. And then exhale, come folding forward. Inhale as you bring your hands to your shins and come halfway up with a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretching up again. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Again, inhaling. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale as you release. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Two more, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. One more time, inhaling. Exhale, folding. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, stretching up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. Take a deep breath here. And exhale through the mouth. Two more breaths like that, inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Good. Bring your hands to your hips and just roll the hips in circles in one direction. Kind of beginning to stretch out your sides, your lower back a little bit. Keep a bend in your knees. And now take it the opposite way. Inhale, come up to standing. Take your feet out a little bit wider now, a little bit wider than your chair. Toes pointed forward. And then take your right hand to your upper right leg and reach your right hand down the right side of your leg and allow the front of your body to be opened. Roll that left shoulder back and keep it down at your side. And breathe deeply here, stretching out your left side body. And on the exhales, if it feels good to sink a little deeper into that stretch, I invite you to do that. Inhale, slowly come up to center. Make sure that you're keeping your core muscles engaged here. Inhale deeply at center. And then exhale, slowly take the left hand down, the left leg, opening up the front of the body. Bring your head and neck to a position that feels sustainable. And inhale, slowly come up 
to center. Roll the shoulders back. Good, and now step your feet in towards each other and come back to, to sit in your chair. So for me, it always feels good to warm the body up a little bit before we get into um, our head to toe sequence. So we've already warmed up our neck and our shoulders a bit, um, but I want you to bring your fingertips now to your jaw. Gently massage your jaw in little circles. And then open and close your mouth a few times to release the muscles of your face. Good, massage your temples. Give your cheeks a squeeze. Tug your earlobes gently and pinch along both ears. Tap your forehead. and your entire head from the very crown all the way down to the sides and back behind. And then come down and tap your collarbone, your chest plate. Release the arms for a moment, shake out the hands. Good. And now stretch the arms out to the side. Exhale, cross your right elbow over the left in front of you and bring your fingertips to point up towards the ceiling. The palms can be facing each other, the hands can be back to back, or you can also just give yourself a hug here. Keep the elbows up high in front of the heart. And breathe into your upper back and your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, now keep the elbows crossed, but drop the hands. Give yourself a big bear hug. And then from here, gently tilt the body from side to side. Just a couple of times, releasing the spine. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, take your arms out to the side. Inhale here. And now exhale, cross the left elbow over the right. Bring your hands up to where you can sustain them. And again, breathe long and deep into your upper back and your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, keep the elbows not crossed, but bring your uh, forearms right down in front of your navel and you're holding on to opposite elbows now. And then from here, 
Once again, leaning from side to side. Feeling that opening beginning to happen in the lower part of your back now. And inhale, come up to center. Release your arms, shake them out a little bit. And now imagining that you're holding weights in both of your hands out in front of you, I want you to curl your arms up, bringing the fists up towards the shoulders. And then release down, opening the hands. So inhale, exhale. And you're moving slowly here. Curling up, imagining that you really do have weight in your hands. And then releasing down. Exhale, release, allow the arms to relax, shake out the hands. Good. And now inhale, take the arms out to the side once again. The palms are flat, facing down towards the floor. Elbows are straight and about the height of your shoulders. And then from here, we'll inhale as we bring the backs of the hands up above the head to touch. And exhale, allow the arms to drop back down to shoulder height. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep going, we'll be here for about 30 more seconds. Do your best, allow the breath to sustain your movement. Inhale, bring the hands up above the head, turn the palms to face each other, interlace the fingers and push the palms up towards the ceiling, stretching up. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, release the intertwine of your fingers and allow the arms to slowly come down to your sides. Roll the shoulders back. Shake out the whole, both arms. Good, and now begin to roll your wrists in circles in one direction. And then the opposite direction. Good, open up both hands really wide and then squeeze them into tight fists. Stretch the fingers of your right hand out with your left.
Stretch the fingers of your right hand. And give your left hand a nice massage working all the way down to the fingertips. Pulling out any tension directly through the fingertips. Same thing on your right hand, massaging it. Good. And now bring your hands together, clasp your fingers together one more time, and then just roll the wrists and hands like a wave. and then go the opposite direction. Good. Push the palms out in front of you, round in your upper back. And then on the next exhale, release everything down. Roll those shoulders back and relax them. Take a deep centering pause here. Observe how your body is feeling halfway through our practice. Good. and we'll begin to work our way down the spine. So if you're not already, come um, more towards the front edge of your seat. Again, allow the feet to be about hip width distance in front of you, keeping your joints aligned. And we'll begin um, our spinal work with cat-cow. So our hands are cupped right over our kneecaps, elbows straight. We inhale, bend the elbows, arch the back, gaze towards the ceiling, and then exhale as you round the spine, straightening the elbows and bringing your chin towards the chest. Inhale, exhale. Good, and we'll move like this for about a minute. So start off slowly, and then increase the speed if it feels good to you. And on the next inhale, come up to a neutral centered spine. Take a deep breath. Good, and now take your feet out a little bit wider, about as wide as your chair, or a little bit wider, and point your toes out at an angle. And from here, we'll move in our Sufi grind, so you're Inhaling as you turn the body forward, keeping your chin parallel to the floor and your head still. And now take it the opposite direction, inhaling as you 
move back. And allowing your arms to be involved in this movement. One more time around this way. And then inhale, come up to center. Exhale, release the breath. Good. And for this next one, bring your right forearm to the top of your right leg, keeping the shoulder aligned with the elbow. The palm is facing up towards the ceiling. And again, opening up the front of the body and extending the left arm up overhead. Allow the head and neck to be in a comfortable position. So if the gaze is up or down towards the floor or bringing the chin in more slightly towards the chest, Whatever feels good to you, just find your place and then breathe long and deep there. And then exhale as you stretch to the right, if that feels good. And then inhale, come on up to center. Bring your left forearm to your left upper leg now, palm facing up. Opening up the body, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And then leaning slightly to the left if it feels good. Breathing space between the ribs. And then on your next inhale, come back up to center. Roll the shoulders back. And take another deep breath all the way down your spine. Good. From here, turn sideways in your chair. We'll do a little bit of core work. So, Sitting sideways in your chair, I want you to lean slightly back until you feel your um, muscles in your belly engage. And then from here, you can take either one or both of your feet out in front of you, leaning slightly back, belly engaged, and then take your arms out in front of you as well. And breathe long and deep here. You might feel a little bit shaky, that's okay. Inhale. And then exhale, bring your feet back down to the floor. Straighten your back. Move it a little bit just to release that posture. And then take your left hand to the back of the chair and use it as leverage to turn your um, body into a twist. So keep the elbows in close to your, your sides. Turning for a twist, take three deep breaths. Exhale as you release that twist and come to face the opposite direction. Be 
Okay, and we'll do the same thing on this side, leaning slightly back until you feel your core muscles engaged. And then as you're comfortable, take either one or both of your feet out in front of you and your arms as well, elbows straight, palms facing each other. A few long, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, bring your feet down, your hands down, bring your spine back up to straight. Take a breath. And now take both hands to the back of the chair behind you, keeping the elbows close to your sides, chin in towards the chest and turn for a twist. And exhale, come back to face the front. Shift a little in your chair from side to side. Good, and I think that we'll um, change it up a little bit today. So before we um, get into a few final standing postures, we'll uh, work our hips a little bit here. So again, making sure that your knees are stacked over the ankles, flex your right foot and inhale your right ankle bone up to the top of your left knee. Or if that's not um, comfortable, you can also just cross the right foot over the left in front of you and adjust your um, posture, your seating as you need. Keep the elbows in towards the body. And take a breath or so here. And maybe rock a little bit from side to side as you begin to invite that right hip to open. And then on your next exhale, leading with your chin, come gently folding over that right lower leg. And again, if it feels good to sort of sway or move from side to side, I invite you to do that. For some reason that really helps me to make it a little bit more, I don't know, just um, gentle. Kind of coming from all angles instead of just one. And then finally come to stillness for a breath or so. And on your next inhale, come back up to a straight spine. Take both hands to your lower right leg and give your shin and your calf a little squeeze. Roll your ankle around in circles in one direction. and then the opposite direction. And then take your hands all the way down to your feet, to your toes. Good. And then release that right leg from the left, shift a little in your chair. Bring your feet back to hip width distance and just take a breath here. 
briefly observing the difference in your right and left hip. And then flexing your left foot this time, inhale your left ankle bone up to the top of your right knee or cross the left foot in front of the right. Again, shift a little bit from side to side. Encouraging that hip to open. And then if it feels good on your next exhale, come folding forward over that lower left leg. And on your next inhale, slowly come back up to center. Bring both hands to your lower left leg, giving it a nice squeeze. Roll your left ankle around in circles, one way and then the other. And then massage your left foot all the way down to your toes. Release that left foot from the right leg. Shift a little bit in your seat. Roll the shoulders back, take a breath. Good. And now let's stand up for a few um, final leg stretches. All right. So for this first one, your feet are about hip width distance apart. Little bend in the knees. Inhale as you come up onto your tiptoes and exhale down onto your heels, lifting the toes. Just do this a couple of times. And inhale, come up onto your toes, stay there. Exhale, release, good. Take your feet out now a little bit wider than the chair, point the toes at an angle. Inhale. And then exhale, bend deeply in the knees, coming down into a squat. Both hands can remain on the chair, or if you wanna bring your hands down to your thighs or maybe even up like two goalposts, play with the balance as it feels good to you today. And breathe into your upper legs, your glutes. Spread the toes, allow any shaking that you might feel to just be there. Sink a little bit deeper. Inhale now as you straighten the legs. Exhale, bend them again. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. 
keep going like this. Two more. And on the next one, stay down again. Take another breath here. And then straighten the legs once again. Bring your hands to the chair. Bring your feet back in. Good. And then take the last 30 seconds of standing to kind of move your body in any final ways that you need to, that feel good to you. Uh, when you feel ready, come on back down to the chair. Good. And this time, allow your back to rest against the back of the chair. Not slouching, but using the back of the chair for support. Bring your palms back to your lap, facing either up or down. Relax the shoulders, it'll keep the eyes open for another few moments. Begin to steady your breath. and allow your energy to begin to settle. And then when you feel ready, allow the eyes to gently close. Coming full circle, finishing class the same way that we started. Allow your body and your mind to become still.
Gently now bring your hands to heart center and rub the palms together. And bring the hands to stillness. Bow your head towards your heart. Take a moment here to revisit the intention that you set at the beginning of class or bring to your mind the person for whom you dedicated this practice. And as we move throughout the rest of this day and our week, may we continuously be guided by the presence of grace, our own higher self, our truth. May our actions always be in service to the whole, and may we uplift and elevate all those we come in contact with. Thank you for being here with me today to practice, for doing something good for your mind and body. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your week. Namaste.